Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss how we can check the security of application and whole application summary security, right? So now in previous lecture, we have created these groups. We have all users as well as the admin group, right? These are the best practice groups. We have already created both of them. So now I can go inside my security and I can check the application security. So if you remember previously, we have not given any kind of security in my application. Right now I need to give one and currently the warning is coming. So let's see if I'll give the permission of FA admins and the permission level is admin. So now the warning is gone and we have already selected the admin group. So if we want that only admin groups can access this application, then we can do it. And also we can Right, the warning is not coming, but still we can select one more group of all users and we can give the criteria as viewer if we want to, right, if required. So I can hit the changes now and my application security is updated, right. So this is how we can do that. And for example, uh, my application is completed and we have created multiple objects in this application. Now we need to check the security of this application as well as the application objects. So I can go inside the settings again and uh, I can click on security summary. So here you can see we have all the objects listed down and all the security, whichever we have given. And if there are any warnings, we can see it. You can see there is one warning here, one warning detected and this is the one we have not given security of all users right so all users is the parent of admin we have done that that in previous lecture so if you if you have not seen the previous lecture please go through first and then you will be understanding this part so let's cancel and uh, i need to do the security of all users so i'll go inside the security and i can add users so I will give the admin security only because that is the only option available. This is FA admin, save changes, and now that's all. The warning should have gone. So I will check again, security summary, and again some warning is coming, but the previous one is gone. Now some new warning is coming. Because all users is a parent of admin, that's why automatically the security which we have given to this all users is now inherited at this place also. And you can see there are two duplicate securities, right? Two permissions level, duplicate permission level, as well as the groups which we are using. And how we can do it? We can correct it by clicking on edit and you can see we can only delete this, this one, which is not the inherited one. And I can hit the changes and now my page is sorted. There is no warning now in my whole application. After checking this, we can close it and that's all. That's all in this lecture.